Well, with that then, so I don't forget to acquire Boozer, let's go a little bit further. A reminder of the setup here. Uh, I do not have my second this year. I don't have a second until 2006. For you guys, you have Miami's first, and then you have a 2005 first. Boy, we are against second round picks, aren't we? Yeah, honestly, that, that's a bit of a damper. I don't know if I'll screw around with this mode, this era offline until they say, like, that's just how we wanted it to be, or they fix it. But we are set up for the Dwight Howard draft. Josh Smith, Andre Iguodala, Trevor Ariza, Anderson Verjao. There are some good players in this draft. Obviously, it's the draft that we would have gotten to experience, except uh, we didn't. So. So, so, so. For me, I have a pretty big goddamn hole in my roster, though. I have a pretty damn big hole in my roster here. Still got the same terrible coach. I'm only going to run seven because Bogans isn't going to do much. But yeah, like until I get Carlos Boozer back, my whole plan of like maybe I could make the playoffs takes a little bit of a hit. For you guys, I mean, right now it's LeBron and his band of merry men. If you still wanted to tank with this amazing coach, you could just leave it. Or you could up it a little bit more to try to get LeBron more playing time. We can't tank. We don't have our pick. Ooh, you're right. You're right. Tanking wouldn't be overly uh, beneficial now, would it? So, yeah. You uh, just got to kind of play this straight up. So, that could affect your strategy of what you elect to put on the trade block. I could. There you go. LeBron will be playing 38 minutes a night. So in terms of the trade block then, you guys still have Persons, Sura, and Blount up there. You still might as well put Grant and then obviously make LeBron an untouchable. But you might as well put a couple of these dudes up there just to see if you can get anything for them, but potentially not take them. Like it has to be has to be crazy. The goal should be the big contracts. That's true. I mean, no guarantees that um that they get picked up. But the biggest contracts honestly now a lot of them have looked to have like reset. But Benny Singleton, Carl Gibson, and then obviously Sura, Person, and Grant. And we'll see what happens for you. Uh, for me, I am in the same exact spot of like get rid of Antonio Powell, get rid of Ricky Hill. Kevin Burke, like, what the hell, man? These contracts. And obviously, we had no idea this was coming because the last time we were in this era, it was a little bit different. So, very, uh, very, very, very weird indeed. But, all right. And yeah, my untouchables this year will be my highest. Rated dudes. I have no plans on getting rid of them. All right, so that is uh, that is the setup then for this season. And I am good with uh, with going for it. We're both kind of going for it, but yeah, it's very weird how they set that up. It is a shame that I lost Kirk Heinrich in all of this, but with some of the other deals that panned out, it's it's interesting at the very least. Like lesson learned. But let's see. I beat Miami for you. There you go, chat. Let's see what happens. Keith Bogans and a 2006 second for a lottery protected first and Morris Raja. I mean, I might as well risk it. Like, it's Keith Bogans. He's only got a C minus potential. Like, yeah, it's lottery protected in 2006, but Keith Bogans for that? I will, uh, I will take that. Thank you very much, Seattle. That's a second round pick turned into a uh, prospective first. 
That's how you get it done. But yeah, it's interesting that we thought the Toronto thing would have screwed it up. Is that Blake Griffin? All right, look at that. Bad contract for bad contract. Yeah, no thanks. Considering the contract you're offering me is even worse. Jesus. Uh, let's see. For you guys, person who got a little bit worse and Mark Blount for Buckner and Todd McCullough. Buckner is 27. McCullough is also 27. It would make your team worse and you'd have longer cap hits. So that's definitely not worth it. I mean, person's deal is up at the end of the year. Those two are, are not worth it. So that's a definite no for you guys. You don't even have to throw that to a vote. That makes no sense. Bob Sura for Corliss Williamson. So Sura's on the last year of his deal. Corliss is signed to a new deal. He is only a 76th, though. That's probably a no. He, he's not good enough to make it worth taking that cap hit for three years after this. So that's definitely a no. You would have thought Corliss would have been a little bit better, but you guys are 4-12 and 12 so far this year, by the way, so... All right, another interesting one. How long was McCullough? Oof, that's not worth it for a second. No chance, no shot. So yeah, right now it's uh, not looking good for you guys in terms of tanking. As I say that, you win four in a row. Nuggets are on a surge because you kept Bob Sura. A deal for me. Two bad contracts from one another. A trade exception from the Hawks. I mean, that's still cheaper than what I'm paying Powell. What the hell is the trade exception? I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to involve a trade exception. That's scary to me. That's scary to me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no to that. I don't like that. I, the only trade exception I like is you give me draft picks at the end. Also, for my goal of trying to win a t title this year, it's not really working out too well. Design your shop! And my first round pick in 2010, top 10 protected for Brendan Haywood and Nick Collison. Haywood is 24. A minus for Brendan Haywood. Nick Collison has a B at 23 years old. I mean, it's top 10 protected. I might as well. Like, Jop only has a C. It's top 10 protected. That's that's a deal. Thank you. Thank you very much, Washington. Holy shit. Also, because did I go past where I'm allowed to uh, trade back for Mr. Boozer? January 4th. Yeah, I will uh, gladly take that deal. I will gladly take that deal. It'll take your 2006, though, right? Yeah, but we might not even get to 2006 because Jesus. You know? Yeah, there we go. Seven people. Collison, Haywood, Miles. Like, we're good for big men. We're good for it. And they have one year on contract. Yes, but if they have their options, and I mean, I can resign them, so. Another deal for me. It's Powell and Raja for Graham and Dirk Stewart. I technically would not be saving money. So absolutely not. Let's get to January 4th at the Tokyo Dome. Didn't mean to accidentally jump into this, but okay. Quit. You sure you want to quit? Yes. Sim through date. All right. Let me just sim the extra day. There we go. I am officially allowed to get Carlos Boozer back because I never wanted to get rid of him. But this game decided, LOL, you're going to lose him. So. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Jason Williams got hurt. Also, I lost Smush Parker for no reason. And you guys, I'm sure, lost your point guard, too. So I'll tell you what. Um, yeah, that's happening. There you go, Detroit. Take my shit. Illegal trade. I'd be over the cap. Well, 
I'm going to do this for you guys, too, to get your player back, if I can. Uh, here you go, Detroit. Take my shit. Give me back Carlos Boozer. Thank you very much. So I got Boozer back, rightfully so. For you guys, do we know where your decent young point guard went? I don't know if we do, because I don't even remember his name. I'll remember it when I see it. He might not have even signed anywhere. But that would be the equalizer to get rid of two of your bad contracts. Which would be completely fair. You tell the AI to suck it. Unless your guy ended up being a free agent. Well, they drafted Ridnauer, but they have Jason Kidd. Jesus. I don't even know if your young point guard signed anywhere at this point. It's insane. There he is, Satterfield. All right, cool. So you'll be screwing over Orlando. Congratulations. But we will do this to call it fair. Oh, no. Well, you got to wait until February 8th, apparently. When the hell's the deadline? February 5th. Well, you can't get him back. At least not now. Remind me at the draft to get that guy back for you, and that way you can drop two shit contracts. I tried. I tried, Chad. I tried. Uh, so for my team, with Carlos Boozer back, I am going to go with an eight-man bench. And all of a sudden, my roster's looking okay, except that Jason Williams hurt. Oh, that's right. I wanted Smush Parker back, too. I didn't want to get rid of him, either. Can I find out where Smush went? Smush, my boy, to the Suns. Am I able to get you back? Because again, I had no choice. I had to let you go. Nope, I can't get Smush back. Okay. So I'll get Smush back. You guys will get your guy back, and well, I'll have a Merry Christmas. But uh, that won't be until next year. So I have to deal with not having a point guard right now because of the injuries. Bit of a shame. For you guys, LeBron, still rocking a shitload of playing time, as you'd suspect. Uh, interesting offer here. You could move Brian Grant and that brutal contract along with Benny Singleton. I mean, no reason to not do that, right? You get rid of Dave Rose. And then, yeah, you pay half, just about half of what you're paying Grant next year on Bo Outlaw. Any disagreement on that? I mean, that's... That's just shedding a shitload of cap from Brian Grant, who was your uh, Theo Ratliff replacement. It's based on when they signed the deal and how, essentially. Any disagreements on that, Chad? I think that's a no-brainer for you guys. Get rid of Grant. A long term, you shed a shitload of cap space. You technically take on about as much, if not more, this year, but who cares? It's this year. All right, that is a done deal. That's a good deal for you, too. It'll make you worse this year, but that's, uh, that's a good deal to take. You off. Also got another offer for Person, but it's Cliff Robinson and Todd McCullough, both of whom are pretty damn old. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a no for you guys. Yeah, unfortunately, Reels for whatever reason, bot's broken. It's a May 16 by Lagwagon. Gotta tell Pyro that the bot's broken. Someone should tag him on Discord. Oh, good it's just ben. for you! Got the shinies hoarder. Oh, because Pokemon. Coco, what's going on, you beautiful, handsome, sexual demon? What's going on, buddy? How the heck are you? We've managed to break the game or discovered that they broke the game in the 2002 Kobe era. It's been a little bit weird. But what's going on? Hold on a second. I like Jermaine Jones, though. And he's young. Plus, that's an unprotected pick. That's top three protected. That's scary. 
Jason Collins isn't that bad, but I have Ogauskas. I don't need that trade. So, Coco, we started in the Kobe era. And, uh, yeah, we discovered some weirdness. There's no way I'm doing that. Kenyon Martin's good, but not, not that good. Yeah, it's just really weird. But hello, everybody, and welcome. I hope you had fun at Coco's, because he's a hell of a guy. All right, chat, so that is it. I am at 21 and 25. You are at 18 and 26. Let's go ahead and sim out this season. Because I need to know tonight if the options are still broken in season two. And if they are, we might not do the Kobe era. Because that would be screwed. In terms of contract extensions. You guys are losing Sura James and Outlaw, but that's by design. Or at least Outlaw's telling you it, a year in advance he's going to leave, which is fine. So yeah, hopefully there's nothing long-term broken, and it's just a really weird season one. Otherwise, that puts us into a pretty damn weird spot. Also, Williams is back. So we're good. I have my ideal eight-man lineup at this stage. What charity? We were raising money for the uh, for Hope for the Day. I always want to say for these is a foundation. Uh, it's for a charity called Hope for the Day. Uh, they help in terms of uh, you know getting the resources out there when it comes to suicide prevention and such. Um, we did do our big giveaway. If you did want to donate, exclamation point charity is the place to do it. Uh, but yeah, they essentially help get the resources out there to help the uh, people in need when it comes to mental health. Just, you know, the idea of care and discussion around it as well. But yeah, we uh, we had a good time. But yeah, Kobe Bryant wins the league MVP. 33 points a game. Good Lord. Rookie of the year, LeBron James for the Denver Nuggets. 34 points a game as a rookie. With seven... Re he should have won MVP over Kobe. Jesus. Okay, maybe not, but he had an argument. Juan Howard and now in Dallas won sixth man of the year after you guys let him go last year. Sean Marion wins defensive player of the year with his Phoenix waistband. Most improved player, Carlos Boozer. That's why I wanted you back. Coach of the year, Don Nelson. Uh, LeBron made the all NBA first team for Chats team in his first season. He also made the all defensive team first team. And was on the all-rookie team as well, which is ridiculous. Like, absolutely ridiculous. The Cavaliers have made the playoffs again. Chat, you did not make the playoffs. Six ads, why? It's what it's set to, my man. Welcome to life with Twitch partners getting guaranteed money if they run certain ad rates. I like to pay my bills. I like to pay my bills. Thank you. Is house I'm living in with my fiance. I'd like to not lose it. That'd be cool. You know? You know? There's uh, things called subbing. There's Twitch Turbo, which means you avoid ads on every channel. Like, at that point, if you're complaining about ads, it's more on you than it is on the streamer. But yeah, Miami was the two seed, by the way. I don't get why people complain about ads. I don't either, to be honest. I try to be nice about it, but I don't get it. I don't get it either. I don't get it either, really. It's just, it is what it is, man. Welcome to, welcome to life. You get advertised to every second of every day. <laughs> That's the life we live. So in the West, you get the Spurs and Clippers, Grizzlies and Mavericks, Lakers and Suns, Sonics and Warriors. In the East, Bucks and Hawks, Cavs and... Wizards, Celtics, and Bulls, Heat, and Sixers. I mean, I get it. Like, trust me, if it was up to me, I wouldn't run ads at all. But, like, yeah, the, the idea of, like, six, eight. I've seen some people say, like, dude, I just got a 10 ad block. Not in my channel, but for others who are getting even more money for guaranteed offers than a channel of my size. It's ridiculous. But, yeah, Twitch added a feature of uh, guaranteed money. And, uh, yeah, streamers can't, uh, most streamers can't turn it down. Myself included. Myself included. I was wanting to hear about charity. And you still can by exclamation point charity. So let's take a look at the stats here really quickly for myself. Let's do the per 36 minutes. 
Um, let's see what we got. We got Ricky Davis as my leading scorer. Ogalskis behind him. Boozer averaged that double-double. I don't know if my team's good enough to win a title. But I'm going to hope that they are so that we can escape this era very quickly. And then for you guys, it was in fact LeBron and his band of merry men. So you guys are very much... Uh, very much taking the slow and steady approach. <laughs> Whereas I am like immediately having to go for it based off of uh, having this core that I do. We're still going to run eight in the playoffs, but I'm going to drop the bench utilization to run my stars that much more. So yeah, uh, Haywood Collison and Miles off the bench. I'm hoping it's good enough, man. That's a very good team that I inherited. Even though... Um, Yeah, even though the Cavs IRL weren't good at all that season. So let's uh, let's do this, man. It's it's round one against the Wizards. I don't believe Michael Jordan retired. Let's see what I'm up against. Point guard, Tyron Lou, because Larry Hughes is out with a torn MCL. But yeah, Miami getting that two seed for you guys was uh, pretty rough. Shooting guard, Marcus Banks. So I guess MJ did leave. Forward, Jerry Stackhouse, Desmond Mason, Jared Jeffries, too. And, uh, yeah. Power forward, Christian Leitner. Not that bad. Spot tells you every time you run ads, it only runs up to three. Why would you believe what a bot says? <laughs> this is my response. Jeff Foster and Desanya Jop after my uh, trade with them earlier. I trade with them earlier. So that is a team I should beat. I don't even know how the hell they made the playoffs. Where the hell did Michael Jordan go? Because I don't think it showed him in the retired list, did it? Is MJ still rocking around? Maybe MJ did retire and I just didn't notice. That's... uh. There's some weird stuff happening, man. And I was checking forward just in case that's what, he's gone. There's some weird stuff happening in the Kobe era. That's all I can say. I should win this. Maybe it's just because he didn't retire the first time, but might have retired second. I looked at both guard and forward, did I not? Pretty sure I did. Doesn't matter at this point. He's not on the Wizards. I might actually have a chance at winning this bad boy. I might. I might, I might. I hope I do. Let's put yield prediction up there. And simulate through game one of this best of seven. Let's see what we got. Like I should win this series. If I lose this, then my plan of trying to win fast while you guys build to the draft is going to blow up right in my face. Thank God. 122 to 107 in game one. 37 points. Man, we add from the Coco Raid to the Sammy Raid. Sammy, you beautiful man. How the heck are you? Again, everybody, twitch.tv forward slash Coco Sports. Twitch.tv forward slash X. Sammy with the Y, 33X. He's a beautiful man. Check them both out. Sammy, how did basketball treat you tonight? Shout out to a double-double from... From Williams and the double doubles from Boozer and Ogalskis. Third raid in 10 minutes, Kofi. Goodness gracious, everybody. Goodness gracious, Kofi. Have you played in the Kobe era? It's a little bit messed up. I don't know what 2K did, but it's a little bit weird. Kofi, how the heck are you, buddy? I'm sorry. Sorry about the, sorry about the Bengals. Uh, Garrity and Miller had a good shooting. Hey, there you go. Uh, Sammy, we're doing okay. I mean, I started off on Madden, then switched over to this. To sum this up, we went to, uh, we went to start in the Kobe era. We just drafted Shaq. Ooh. Um, let me tell you, you're going to win a title soon. <laughs> I have seen how we have in over here in general, we have seen how good Shaq is. Yeah, you're going to win a title fast. Very, very fast. In the 80s and 90s, the big men are so OP. 
If you get Ewing in the 80s, Shaq in the 90s, or Kevin Garnett for that matter, done. Like instantly. Uh, fair warning, if you play in the Kobe era, uh, we have discovered that uh, you don't get player or team options in the Season 1 offseason. As well, it will hand rando dudes gigantic contracts to like help fill up the cap. I don't really understand it. So, yeah, fair fair warning here. Can I look at the salary cap breakdown? I can. Let me uh, go to, like, Boston. So, yeah, like, Boston, it'll be like, oh, Howard Isley isn't a great example. This dude, Glenn Washington, 65 rated. Yeah, you're making $4 million for three years or some shit. For in his instance, it would have been four years. So, the Kobe era is a bit weird. Had Ewing and Sampson, and Ewing left in free agency. Qualifying offers were nuts. I'd imagine so. Ewing, I think, is still the most overpowered player I've seen so far in this game. It's insane. Oh, game two. Let's go with the LeBronless Cavaliers. For those who are joining from Coco, Sammy's, or Kofi's, uh, what we do here, I control the team. Chat controls the team. We see who wins first. I am controlling the Cleveland Cavaliers. The chats are the chats are controlling the Denver Nuggets. Uh, they ended up getting LeBron James. L O L O L. Uh, meanwhile, for me, I'm kind of going for it already because I inherited. We picked the two worst teams from that real life season. I inherited Ricky Davis, Ilgowskis, Boozer, Jermaine Jones, um, and I traded for Jason Williams. Could we add the wheel back? At this point, I'm not going to. I'll give Chad a team next time. Ah, Kofi, it's a hell of a lot of fun, man. So what I do is I automate pretty much everything like scouting related to save a lot of time. I could run you through the settings. So pretty much chat gets to decide, obviously, who they draft, whether or not they accept the trade. Um, and free agency, we each get one big free agent to go after. And those are the the kind of effects that we have. So a lot of stuff is automated in terms like scouting. OBS, don't do this to me again. Dude, I have had a terrible connection to the Twitch server for like the past three out of four nights. It's just so inconsistent. Please don't die on me again, OBS. Thank you. Let's sim the second game. Let's sim the second game. Let's hope that Ricky Davis... Who needs LeBron James when you have Ricky Davis? I mean, what did LeBron James ever do, you know? What did he ever do? <laughs> yes, 123 to 104 for the Jordanless Wizards. Question chat. Do, like, do you rate that Wizards logo? Because I feel like... As OBS is dying again. Of course. These Twitch servers, man. These Twitch servers for me. I don't know what's going on, but I hate it. Where do you rate that Wizards logo? There's no middle ground. You're either like a 0 or a 10. And I don't know how I feel about it. I do love the fact that Ricky Davison's and Drunas Ogalskis are incredible together. This core that I have uh, constructed, uh, a.k.a. inherited... Is beautiful. We're up 2 0 on Washington. We'll jump in and watch if it's an elimination game. 10 for me. Yeah, most people seem to like it. Fair enough. So, I will, fair warning here, this stream might just die. Like, OBS is just out of nowhere. It's, it's on a fucking roller coaster. <laughs> and my connection's pretty rough. So, we'll see if I can at least get through this series, and then we might have to call it. <laughs> Unfortunately, the Wizards are going to win game three. 108 to 101. Doubles for Boozer and Williams. 49 points from Jerry Stackhouse. Woof. Jerry Stackhouse, man. I love him, but that, uh, that was a whooping. Leads down to 2-1. Let's go to game four. See if there are any sweeps after this game. I hope I have a 3-1 series lead. Again, I have no excuse to lose this series. I have a vastly superior team. There we go. 93-75. to Doubles from Williams, Ricky Davis, Carlos Boozer. Ricky shot three of 11 and one of five from three. 
but we still got it done. Jerry Stackhouse is trying his damnedest to carry this team. The Chicago Bulls so far the only team to pull off a sweep. Philadelphia, though, might sweep Miami, which was the worst case scenario for you guys having the Heat's pick of them making the playoffs only to get swept and confirmed the Heat have been swept as have the Atlanta Hawks. So three sweeps in the East and none in the West. Go figure. Can the Cavs get their first ever playoff series victory in this Kobe era? Obviously, a lot of victories for them in the uh, 90s before Michael Jordan showed up. We had it and we blew it. Uh, Jones, not bad. Ogowskis and Boozer were both strong. Man, Stack got hurt too. But we still lose 111 to 102. We're going to game six. As the Memphis Grizzlies are the first team in the West to move on. Can we move on to play Milwaukee? This Cavs team is too damn good. Come on. Yes, there we go. First playoff victory in the books. 31 points, 11 assists from Ricky Davis. Carlos Boozer did very well as well. And the Cavaliers eliminate the Washington Wizards in six games, punching our ticket to round two against Milwaukee. Let's see some of the stats. From that opening round, Ricky Davis, the man... Ogowskis and Boozer, also phenomenal. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Feel pretty good about that. Not bad. Let's see who else is uh, moving on to round number two. It'll be Spurs and Grizzlies, Lakers and Warriors, Bucks and Cavs, Bulls and Sixers.